This is what I'm telling you. Have fun first. Have fun. You don't need to use all the notes at once. Not at all. You can slowly discover them. Have fun. Take a few and have fun and find more and have fun. That's what I'm showing. It never gets bored when you approach life like that. Ever, never, ever, ever, never it gets bored. But the issue is you can't hide. In real, real life and real, real love, you cannot hide. So you got to clean out the past, meaning any emotional disturbances you still keep from your past. So you can have fun. And you can engage once you are on a good path. You don't need to figure it all out before. You, have to meet, need to, you see, sometimes the wisdom is telling you something and you don't hear it. You need someone else to explain it to you or to help you out. So maybe now you got the girl and suddenly one of those traumas comes up and you know why there are traumas? Because you're not aware precisely and it does it trigger. You know what a trigger is? As when you react to something, react, not act upon, you don't make the choice, you just react to it in response to something which triggered you first, which gave you a, a feeling of unwelcome or maybe scared or any, any emotional attachment value you got there and then you respond to it because you don't like it and you never did. But you don't understand what just happened. So this is a very simple example, but this is really how life is all about. Let's say it's called the Pavlov reflex. Pavlov reflex. Let's say you served your mommy coffee and then you took the milk and you spilled the milk and she made a super fuss. Oh, your dad, doesn't matter who really doesn't it's not a mama issue just a regular general issue and she made it super fast and maybe she beat you she had no right she was drunk and she was a drug addict and she was sort of imbecile but she did it anyhow and you were small and you couldn't discern you so you felt guilty you're afraid of her life goes on and 15 years later you are with your woman and suddenly the milk spills and you freak out because you're, you were a child when it happened. All your life, your security was falling apart. And it happens again because you're traumatized. It's still in there. <gasps> the milk spits and you freak out. Because your whole life, your whole existence is now in jeopardy. Upon your perception. And she looks at you and says, what the heck? Is that? Big deal. Let's clean it up. No. And doesn't understand. Now, that is the trauma exhibited. You haven't understood it, you react to it. Now, how are you going to resolve it? And that is where real issues start to happen. How do people resolve those traumas? Because the mind is kind of tricky. It disturbs you not by you being an asshole or an idiot. It does allow you to be an asshole because the mind just says, I'm going to store that into a different compartment. This sucker should just go on without all that... Um, so you forgot. No, it doesn't feel right. And there's milk. And there's a woman. There's a woman. Just like mom. No, she's got to be beaten up. Because you didn't feel well. The milk spilled. You, she's got to be beaten up. Ich hau dir uns auf die Fresse. Do you understand? That is a trigger. And there are gazillions of those everywhere. So why do you feel not okay in your relationship? Other than if she is nice or he. It goes from both, for men and women. Why do you not feel well? Well, figure. That's the whole point of a relationship. Figure. But of course, sometimes you just need to look when your partner starts to act out. I mean, if that would happen. 
just look what's happening and give him or her support. Figure out together what it was. That's what it takes. But of course, how could she support you if she's got a similar experience? Now what's she going to do? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, now, of course, you can't beat a woman or any or a child or an animal or a man. And you can't do that. Of course not. But it's not really verbally. It's not really literally. I mean, I mean, in every single sense, not to be in harmony is beating up your person. Not allowing is beating up your person. Imposing yourself is beating up your person. So if she's got the same trauma, She's not good. She learned to be a strong woman. She, she was once weak and raped. Now she's strong. You know, she gets to the bedroom. She walks in slowly, secure about herself. She's firm. She's got it all figured out. Opens the drawer, not the top drawer, the lower drawer. Gets out a cold. Brings it to the kitchen and shoots the motherfucker. Headlines! Oh, look. <laughs> Mother shot her husband. <laughs> what the fuck? Who likes that? You're all terrified of yourself. That's why these magazines and newspapers, they existed for such a long time. I feel like I have to throw up, put an invasion of our beautiful earth. Headlines of, of people in hardship and in dramas. And, oh, ah! 